Hello. This brief presentation is intended to inform the audience on how to frame your evidence-based practice question. Framing your clinical question. To use evidence-based practice or EBP, we need a clear idea of what the question is that we would like to answer. There is an acronym called PICO that we could use to help formulate your question as well as guide your search for evidence in the literature. Using this formula can help you find the best evidence in a quicker and more efficient manner. P, this stands for population or patient. It is who you want to study, but it is important to be concise. For example, maybe you're interested in studying black women, but this is quite broad. What is it about black women that you are interested in studying? So black women with hypertension is a better choice but that is also broad and can be written more concisely. The best option would be black women with uncontrolled hypertension. I, this stands for intervention. What is it that you would like to do? An example would be providing access to treatment, but that is quite broad. Virtual access to treatment would be better, but even that can be written more concisely. The best option would be a specific type of virtual access to treatment. For example, a medication self-management smartphone app. C, this stands for comparison. What is the alternative to the intervention you propose? Having a comparison is not necessary. An example would be usual care or standard of care. Comparing the intervention you propose to the standard of care. O, oh, this stands for outcome. What is it that you hope to accomplish? If we continue on the examples provided in the previous slides, an example for an outcome would be blood pressure control. T, this stands for timing. When do you hope to accomplish this by, or when will you stop and evaluate your outcome? Timing is not always needed, but can be important for fine tuning your EBP question. Continuing with the previous examples, an example of timing would be evaluating blood pressure control at 12 months. Now that we have completed all steps, we have a final PICO question. In black women with uncontrolled hypertension, is a medication self-management smartphone app effective compared to no intervention in improving blood pressure control at 12 months. Thank you.